Okay, and welcome to my probably, I guess I can say it's my first official playthrough of an actual game, and I can be only playing some Sid Meier's Pirates, as you can see here. And my goodness, that lightning was loud in my headphones. So, you know what, let's get in. I'm gonna shut up for a moment and let this scene play out. Okay, so here we are with the character sign-up system. It's not that complex, really. So, you enter your name, and enter, and I'm going to be adventurer that's about the middle ground of the game. Basically, I've pretty gotten pretty good at this damn game, and I play it a lot. So, let's do... Uh, now, these are your skills. Now, these actually will in the game, like here at Fencing it makes it easier to do the things like when you board an enemy ship it's easier to fight the captain himself. Gunnery is... Um, makes it so your ships of course will shoot. It's all down here. As you can see, um, you'll, you'll be more accurate and they'll load faster. Um, navigation makes it easier to sail against the wind and in storms. Medicine makes your character live longer. And Wit and Charm makes it easier to woo the ladies in this game. So I'm just gonna stick with fencing, because that's what I prefer. Because um, the Wit and Charm is not that hard once you learn the uh, hand gestures for the dancing, and which is that primary thing. In medicine, you can get things that will extend it quite a bit. And unfortunately, even those don't help a whole lot. Navigation, again, there's others that'll help, and there's someone who already, there's like a, a unique crew member you can find who permanently joins you who will keep that skill in gunnery, making it better. Um, the era, I don't think there's too much of a difference. I prefer War for Profits. Um, I believe, or either War for Profit or the Buccaneer Heroes. These two are where you find war happening the most. And the Pirate Sunset is where you find the Belize, of course. So let's go ahead and begin. Now we select who we want to go with. It really doesn't matter. Hello, key cat. Um, hang on, I'm going to get a key cat here. Oh, uh, we guys. I don't think it really matters. I usually go with the Dutch. I think they start with a. I don't know if it really matters who you choose. I think everyone starts. I think it's just a matter of the starting ship. Anyways, uh, cutscene. I will shut up now. Even though, yeah, really, there isn't much voice acting, though. Actually, there is no voice acting. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Here's the key cap. Oh, she went away.
Badass? Bam! Badass. And so it begins. Oh, why? What? What? Hold on. What, what ship is this? Why am I starting with a war galleon? No, that's wicked. What the heck? Huh? I didn't start with a sloop. Well, that bites. So oh well. Okay, so let's go talk to the governor. This is pretty much what you always want to do when you immediately start the game. Go talk to the governor of the city you're in. Right away. And okay, you'll find a. So war with this evil Spanish and the for, for the U.S. English. You know what, dude? Don't use big words. I hate you. Yes, I really hate you. We'll get you to your big word user. Okay, so yeah, when you first visit, as long as you're, as long as they don't hate you, when you first visit any city, like Spanish, French, Dutch, or English city, if you first visit them and visit the governor, they will give you no. Oh, give me a moment. I gotta check. Trying to kill my head from wires. Please stay up there, okay? Anyways, he will give you a letter of Mark Quick, which basically means congratulations, we'll give you promotions for sneaking enemy ships. Delphin and then, when you first start, uh, they'll show you the most nearby city of an enemy city, which happens to be St. Kitts, I'm in St. Martin. No, I'm about to send Brig. And then there, God damn it! I can't say that word. <laughs> to blockade St. Kitts. Perhaps you like to tag along. Pick up a few English, English, English prizes. My God, my English. When in time. Until next time, Mr. Justin. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is hit up the tavern and poke around. So let's talk to the bartender. He usually has local gossip. Have you been introduced to the governor of God? God, you. Yeah, the loop's daughter. They say she's a real beauty. We talk to her, and she has other things. She usually gives you information such as if, like, when you rank up as a pirate, or information like this, like here. See, okay? Huh? That's creepy. Okay. Anyways, um. Um, that I think. Mm. Okay, so it's a cook, which basically means he'll make the food better. And I'll note that in my log. There are two ships named Revenge, and it's on its way here, so we're gonna cut it off. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Now, this guy is a mysterious traveler. He sells you, um, the following. He can sell you items like this, so he'll give you information on cities for free. He can give you information on your family at a cost, at money, at, co at gold cost, at least. And he'll sell you pieces of other pirates' treasure maps. Which, of course, I found out, the hard way, if you dig up their treasure, they come after you. The, pirate you. the pirate's treasure you dig up, he'll come after you. There's ten, nine, ten, there are ten pirates, including your character. So we got sixteen and the crew of forty, and I believe our ship can easily hold one. Yeah, our ship can totally hold one. Fifty-six. Now let's see what we can do with the merchant. Let's buy... Oh dear, I don't have enough gold. I have four months worth of food. Alright, so let's see what this shipwright can offer me. I got chain, grape shot. Alright, let's sail away. So this game actually plays on um, the number pad. And up oh, there's the revenge. So let's... Okay, so here's how the battles work. So I press 5 on the number pad. And here we go. Oh god, I hate this thing, it's so slow. I want a sloop! Why didn't you give me a sloop? Come 
on. Come on. Oh gosh, if I had to sleep. No, 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 do not run ashore. Come on. No. Okay, so let's just go ahead and board them. So this is the boarding. So this happens, and then from here you'll pick your weapon. Of course, we'll go with right here because we're up here. How do we pronounce it? Jump, you dodge, go swing, duck, you dodge. That. Boop. Man, you ain't gonna win. Jump, prayer, taunt, Boop. jump, and slash, block, the rust. Shark meat for you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah! And there's the cook. He'll be useful. And they have 486 pieces of gold. Let's take everything. Ooh, they even have some luxuries I can sell them at. There we go. So now let's go back to St. Martin's and whoa, grab a third. Oh no, I don't want to attack him. So let's go back to St. Martin's and get our first promotion, because usually taking a ship will get you a promotion. So talk to Governor. Thank you. God damn you and your big words! Oh, I guess it takes a little more than that, okay. Um, but now we can just drop off some of this food because that's like way too much. There we go. There we go. Now we got a little more gold. Use the salt with the ship right and I am not really gonna bother with this ship because I'm gonna try to piss someone off and get them to the pirate hunter who will give me a sloop. Come on, send you fucking pirate hunters. Pirate and hunter, pirate and hunter, come on down and play. Why does everyone have a brigantine? Did I choose the wrong time era? Whatever, I'll take the Brig of War. It's gotta be better than this. And... Oop. Oh crap, that's gonna hurt. Well, I picked someone up, I heard. Uh, come on, 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 And I have to sink it. <laughs> 41 fire resources, 260 soldiers. Nope, that ain't gonna work. I'm probably actually going to stop this here, and actually my second part will probably- I'll just load up my good file where I actually have my freaking sloop. So, first let's talk to the governor. Are you serious? Two ships? Uh... Alright, what you got? You son of a- Bitch. So 
Ah. <laughs> you rat. No, even I had that wires. Oh, see this? This one? This is a troublemaker. Get the ship rat and gather can upgrade the bomb cannon. I really don't care because I'm going to stop this one here and I think I've recorded long enough. For at least this first video, so let's just let's just drop it. Just seriously. There. And drop all the bunch of guns. And we're gonna check my stats, so I'm gonna stop the recording here. Um I'm actually going to record again here in a little bit and just load up my save file. So you'll see like um pretty much where I'm really good at. Like I got a good really good sloop and I've progressed a lot further. I'm uh, just doing this as basically a test video, and I just wanted to get a first video, official video out, I guess. So, um, see you in the next video. Last Raven Six signing out.